Okay, while this is fresh in my mind, this cat, I got it stuck over there in the berm on the dam, and it was a really bad spot. So, anyhow, what I had ended up happening was on a really steep incline. All the fluid ran into went into the back of the tank, even though I still had probably between five and 10 gallons in there. It was steep enough. I lost uh, lost prime and ran it out of diesel. So what I had to do to get it running was a bear. And in it, what happened, these canisters in here, it sucked a lot of debris and it plugged up all the filters. So I gotta take this canister loose change the filters and then this is on a D7 3T down here this is the more or less the filter relief for the canisters you can take it loose and then any debris that's in here it'll drain out here I never seen such a thing there was sand it was probably a good half inch maybe an inch deep in there when I stuck my finger in there so I just started scratching it out best I could and then I would take my finger out and let it run down and pour more diesel in the top let it spill out and just kept washing out best I possibly could then when it come time to priming I converted this guy from a pony motor to a electric start so that was quite a job back in the day but did that about five years ago but anyways this 24 volt starter works really great except if you ever lose prime and it doesn't hardly have enough oomph to recharge a system because you only get about five minutes of cranking power before the battery runs out so what I ended up doing I found a low pressure pump this guy's a diesel pump about four to seven psi and I ended up having to cut my hard line coming from the back and I plumbed in this little line right here with a little I don't know maybe three gallon bucket up here above so that guy right there would just drain straight into the tank and I hooked this up to my batteries and I just started letting it run and then up here there's two bleeders there's your top bleeder right here and then there is a little bleeder right there down below see that little guy so I cracked both of those the bottom one Diesel started coming out of it eventually. And this was after I put brand new filters in here is when I started doing this stuff. So diesel started coming out of it. And then I opened the top and then I closed that one back. Then I opened the top one and I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. Never got it to bleed out of here. And I think it was the way that the, the motor was sitting. I was still on such an incline. It was tilted sideways that it just had an air pocket trapped up here in the corner. So I could never get air to bleed out of this. I think if it's on level ground, it would. You do the bottom one first, close it back up after diesel comes out, do the top one second, and then I think diesel would come out. I couldn't ever get diesel to come out there. But anyways, then I closed both of those down. Then with this pump still running, I cracked one of these lines. And I went over and I... I'll show you guys, so... Come back here with that little pump still running. I put it down on no compression and I started cranking the motor. Let it crank, let it crank, let it crank, let it crank, let it crank. And then, sure enough, diesel started shooting out of here. Close that line with that little pump still running. Did the next one. Crank it, no compression. Diesel started shooting. Did the same thing on all four of those. Once I had diesel shooting out of there, it bubbled a little bit, and then it started shooting just diesel. I knew I was primed at the injector. Um, so that was, um, I mean the injector pump, sorry. So I had the injector pump primed. I had all the air out of there. Then I came up here to the injectors themselves. Cracked each one of these lines. Did this one. Ran it on start. till it shot fuel out. Closed it. Did the next line here all the way up there so all four of those were were shooting a lot of diesel out had it primed good then I locked them all back down so made sure they were tight and then I went ahead and gave it a shot to try to start it 
Gave it a little shot of ether because this is a little bit of an ether baby. Hate that it is, but you know, it just that's that's where I'm at on this old thing. 1953, I think it is. So, put a little bit of ether in the intake. Fired it, normal procedure. Cranked it, put it in half compression, and my batteries were low from running it over to bleed everything. But I'm here, way off in the middle of nowhere, and it was raining and. It was just a nightmare to get this thing going. But anyways, got it fired. Fired up, and once I got it primed, I will, it was off to the races. I got maybe an hour run time, 45 minutes to an hour run time with this couple gallons by the time I primed everything. And Anyways, so that was the procedure. And if you got a 3T that you run it out of diesel, you can try that. And I had great success. Talked with a bunch of different people told me what to do and it worked perfectly so thanks everybody for your tips and hopefully this helps somebody else because i tried to put all the different tips in one place